Well, let's see. Shrek has triplets, and uh, he's got two hands, so that's a lot of juggling. A uh, house full of kids, and uh, he's, he's actually uh, not a bad father. He loves his kids, but it's a lot to deal with. Um, Fiona's a little bit more, a little bit more adept at it, uh, you know, even down to like tying a shoelace. Even sometimes dad is, has a little bit of trouble, but uh, he's, he's surviving, he's managing, but he's a man who has very little time to himself these days. He's lost his roar. He's an ogre who, who's lost his roar. It's, uh, it's a little bit of, of a life story that a lot of us actually could relate to. So we thought that would be a really great way to tell the final chapter of, of Shrek's journey, which in many ways parallel, parallels a lot of people's life journeys. So we kind of started from there. This is the chapter where everybody is different. This is our, our what if moment, what if Shrek and Fiona never met? What if Shrek never met any of his friends? Donkey, Puss, this is a totally different world. Uh, Fiona is a warrior princess. She's given up her princess side and she's embraced her ogre side. She's a little more buff in this, in this uh, chapter and she is the leader and the glue behind the ogre resistance because they have to fight Rumpelstiltskin who took away the kingdom from her parents.